Um, yeah. It's, uh, pretty much raining sideways. Fun. Don't believe me? Come over here. Uh, yeah. It rains hitting this window inside a port. It's raining sideways. Because if it was falling down, it wouldn't be raining, it wouldn't be in this porch, but it's not falling down, completely straight down, raining sideways, and that's why the porch is wet now. Yeah. Anyway, my hook starts now. Okay, so in spite of it's raining off and on all week and dodging the rain, I've actually been out in the backyard here doing some work, and trust me, this backyard needs a lot of work. So here's what I've done so far this week. I've pulled out a whole bunch of branches from these trees, starting to pull out the rocks from here and move them over there and eventually I'm going to build like a little garden square right there for like vegetables and then there's certain parts of the yard that is like kind of low and as you can tell here you can hear it the ground doesn't soak up the water very well so we're going to have to redig up this ground put like peat moss in it so it allow the water to absorb better in the ground but anyway here's what I'm probably going to do today, for sure, is lay down some ground, lay down some uh, mulch or stuff on the bottom, get some soil in there, and over here we have a bunch of herbs and flowers that we can plant in. And so we can start at least a herb garden this week. Now it's going to get into a late start, but at least we can put in these wonderful herbs so we can use for cooking and don't have to buy at the store anymore. But anyway, yes, this is the whole backyard, which it's a nice backyard with this boat in here, which should hopefully will be gone soon. It's a very nice backyard, but it needs a lot of work. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, something happened in a few minutes. In, well, it was, a, it was like half hour into digging. I, uh, broke my only shovel. I mean, it was an old shovel, so I was going to have to get a new one anyway, but just thinks I was only able to use it for so long. <laughs> and I don't have a car to go get a shovel, so, and don't have the money, so I have to wait for that. In the meantime, I have two little garden shovels that I'll use to dig dirt. Because I at least want to get dirt into that herb garden bed so we can start planting them, at least today or tomorrow. I am not giving up. Alrighty. Since I don't have a big shovel, I'm using two small shovels and starting to dig up the ground, put in some peat moss so the water can absorb better. First spot I'm doing is this is going to be a potential garden area. Got all these stones here. Going to build like a stone wall. A stone wall in a square. And eventually that'll be a little garden area to grow vegetables. And then here is going to be a little herb area. I already have the ground in there and in these little brick hole areas I'm going to put plant flowers or probably other plants as well. I'll have to fill that in with dirt sometime as well. But So that's what I'm doing out here today and as you can see I am a bit dirty. Yes I am. Because that ground is half wet. <laughs> okay, I just want to let you all know that my father-in-law is a genius. And here's why. Um, you know that broken shovel I showed you just a little bit ago? Well, it was more than a little bit ago, but you know. I just, I showed you a broken shovel just before, and I had broken it. The wood was old. 
and I just broke after digging. Well, my father-in-law decided to create a new wooden handle for it, and would you look at that? So instead of throwing this thing away, he's completely reconstructed and practically made a new wood base for the shovel from just a block of wood that was standing over there. That is amazing. Hello peoples, we are going through some photos now, and you see me, here I am digging up the ground, assembling all the rocks together that I found, or half rock, half bricks, um, and then basically I was excavating uh, parts of the yard, digging up certain holes in the area, then putting peat moss um, in the ground to help the water absorb better. And so I'm just digging and digging with these little shovels, because at the time, father-in-law didn't fix the big shovel yet, and here I am, all dirty from kneeling into the, the mud and the ground. But here you see this uh, starting to take shape, this garden. Looking nice, looking nice, and there it is. Practically complete. Still got to build some of the walls up, because I want it a little bit higher. But here at the very end is uh, my wife and my and her dad, putting in the herbs for the herb garden because at least we can have you know a herb garden to where we don't have to buy herbs from the store anymore we can just uh, save and and get herbs from there so we planting them in and then there's the bucket of water to where we will water them and hopefully they turn out good and we'll be able to uh, use them to cook later on but anyway that is it folks and I will see you next week